When viewing a publicly traded company, the stockbroker window only shows you a limited amount of information. If you want a detailed overview of the company, you must dynamically generate a report. You can do this by clicking the line graph button. This window is the stock's report. The top of the report contains a historical graph with the share price of the company and the quarterly earnings per share. The y-axis contains share prices. You can hover over the blue EPS bars to see the EPS on the graph. Below the graph is the stock information. There is a lot of information here which you can refer to in the manual. But for now, let's go through each one. The index is fluff information. All companies in the game are in the Gear and City 500 index. Market cap is the value of the company. This value comes from multiplying the outstanding shares by the current share price. Annual revenues and annual expenses are the revenue and expense totals over the last 12 months. Book slash share is the book value of the company, divided by the outstanding shares. These numbers are the actual unspeculative value of the company per share. For example, if the book value is $12 and the share price is $15, the actual value of the company is $12. The extra $3 in share price is how much others are willing to speculate that the company will grow in value. Cash slash share is how much cash the company has per share. For example, if this value is $8, then the company has $8 in cash for every share. PE stands for price to earnings. This value divides the current share price by the annual earnings per share, EPS. If the EPS is negative, the PE is zero. This metric is a good way to determine if a stock is over or underpriced. You can consider 20 fairly priced. PS is price to sales. This value takes the share price of the company and divides it by the annual revenues per share annual revenues divided by outstanding shares. A low ratio can indicate that the market undervalues this stock, and with a high ratio, they overvalue it. PB stands for price to book. This value divides the current share price by the book slash share value. You would use PB for a metric of how over or underpriced a stock is. The lower the ratio, the better value the stock is. Book value is the value of all the assets the company owns. It is the value of the company, if they were to liquidate. Debt slash EQ stands for debt to equity. This variable divides your short-term debt, the debt from loans and revolving credit, by the total amount of assets your company has. The higher this ratio is, the more debt load this company has. Long-term debt to equity is the same as debt slash EQ, except the debt is long-term. In the game, this is bonds. Bonds are less of a cause of concern in the game because companies will roll old debt into new bonds when they expire. The higher this value is, the more debt the company has, which can slow company expansion. EPS, or earnings per share, are revenues minus expenses, divided by the total number of shares. Or in more layman terms, Profits or losses are divided by the number of shares. This metric is one of the most important corporate fundamentals to watch. Profitable companies will have EPSs above zero, and unprofitable ones are under zero. EPS growth, 5 years, shows the EPS growth over the last 5 years. This value compares the annual EPS from 5 years ago against the sum of the previous 4 EPSs. Revenue growth, 5 years, is the same as the EPS growth, 5 years, except it is for revenues instead of EPS. ROA stands for return on assets. The ROA comes from dividing the company revenues by the total amount of assets. This value is a metric for how much money a company generates based on the number of assets they have. A higher ROA means the company needs fewer investments to make more income. And a lower ROA shows that the company has to tie up most of its funding in assets to generate revenues. Gross margin is the revenues minus the cost of goods, not including indirect fixed costs such as administration costs, divided by revenues. We display this value as a percentage. 
The higher it is, the more money the company is making in relation to the cost of their goods. Operating margin is the profits a company makes for every dollar of revenue. We determine the value by dividing the profits by revenues. Unlike gross margins, this value includes all fixed costs. A higher percentage means the company is making more profits off of their sales. Whereas a low value means the company spends most of its revenues, and a negative value means the company is losing money on each sale. Outstanding is the total number of shares available for trading. A share is fractional ownership of the company. If you own all the shares, you own 100% of the company. If you own 10% of the shares, you own 10% of the company. 52-week high is the highest the share price has been at over the last year. 52-week low is the lowest the share price has been at over the last year. Current price is the current price of a single share. Shares change prices based on how much other people will pay for them. You can use the other metrics on this page, such as book slash share or PE, to determine the current share price as a fair value for this stock. Price change is the percentage of change to the share price since last month. Dividends are payments to shareholders for each share they own of the company. They pay this payment out every quarter, and it can be a great source of revenue. Below the stock fundamentals are three tables. The top table displays all the factories the company operates, the year they built the factories, production line capacity, overall rating, and the value. Below that, the middle table contains all branches the company operates, how many vehicles they sell at the location, the revenues, the dealerships, and the marketing expenses. The bottom table lists all active vehicle models, their type, sales, inventory, and revenues. And finally, at the very bottom of this report is a revenue and expenses over life of company chart.